What is up you guys, it is Simmons45 here and in this video we're going to be doing a hands-on to a new update to the Chrome browser for iOS. Now some of you guys may be asking yourselves why am I doing this on an iOS device? Why don't I just do this on a Android device? Well that's because um, Google has just pushed out its update to its Chrome browser for iOS. I know it's on Android but they just updated this for iOS and with it it brought a few new changes to the user interface itself, some few, a few bug fixes here and there, and a couple more. So let's just go ahead and go into the browser itself. And in this update, uh, this is now version 40.0.22, etc. And in this update is in included is um, one the new the new material design that comes with. Android's new version Lollipop 5.0 and uh, which by default gives it a much more flatter and cleaner look to it gives more feeling to uh, the whole motion of scrolling through the browser itself and brings more life to the brings more life to Google's apps in general so yeah that's what it features like Every time you click a button, it will come up from somewhere, it will fade out somewhere so you know where everything goes, and so on and so forth. And so in terms of actual functionality, not much has really changed. Everything still looks almost the same, except, you know, with a flatter look now. Everything looks almost the same now, except, you know, there's a much flatter look, but it still functions the same. You can still tap here at the bottom to search on Google or to just type a URL to go to a website and uh, this is also the new uh, multi -tab, multitasking tab for um, accessing all your tabs and you guys probably can't see the uh, background here but there is a background here so yeah there's that and you still have your you still have your regular settings here for your new tab your Ignato Cognito tab, uh, which is private browsing, bookmarks, recent tabs, history to report an issue, request desktop site when you're on a website that only shows the mobile version, and so on and so forth. So not much has really changed in functionality and in features itself. So you can't really expect too much from this update. And uh, like I said, it brings the material design update. It brings the new. Uh, it brings the new. Uh, Material design update. It also brings iOS uh, stable iOS 8 optimizations for bigger phones, bug fixes, stabilization, performance improvements, so on and so forth. Everything here still almost looks the same. You know, flatter look, flatter design, new material design. Everything here is still pretty much the same. Everything still works in the same way, and everything still operates the way you expect the Chrome browser to act like like you can still tap here at the top to get to a new tab you can tap the three dots here to go to a new Ignato tab and every time you click something here you will see a uh, slow animation that will take you to um, that will basically you know bring life to Google's apps in general so yeah there's that and you can and you'll notice some of the few animations every time you search for something or you type in a URL here when it's at the top and you get a much more flatter look and much more darker look to the Ignato view here. And uh, that's it really nice. It still looks the same, still functions the same. Everything here is almost the same. And uh, either way, guys, that's it. That is my quick hands-on of Google's new updated version of the Chrome browser for iOS, which is now 40.0. It is free in the Google Play Store. It is free in Apple's App Store here. You can still get it for free. And it's at least 53.3 megabytes and you need at least iOS 7.0 to update it or to get the app in general. And either way guys, that's it. That is my quick update and my quick hands-on of Chrome of the Chrome browser for iOS. Now if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do next or if you have any problems with this whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. I try to release a new video every Saturday and Sunday. 
and thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is the Meister45, signing off.